All right, y'all. Let's talk Sean Payton. So, Sean Payton came out and he basically uh, lambasted the entire coaching staff from last season and told the truth. Sean Payton said that last year, that was one of the rare times where a team can flat out embarrass an organization. Uh, he mentioned the fact that the Broncos were 29th in pre-snap penalties last season. He mentions the fact that Nathaniel Hackett did not have this team prepared the way that they should have been. He mentioned the fact that they could have been better and should have been better in many different portions. He even goes as far as to say that that was one of the worst coaching jobs in NFL history this last season. So for me, listening to this, a lot of people are feeling away. Did he go too far? Should he have said what he said? And people are asking the question, what does this mean for the year? Now, if you read through the entirety of his comments, a lot of it is coming from a place that he clearly is sending support towards Russell Wilson, that he doesn't think that last year was his fault. Uh, I don't know if you remember the Colin Cowherd inter interview last year, but basically he said that if he was Russell Wilson's coach, he would take his 20th, 20 best plays in the red zone situation. They would build their script based off what he does best over the course of his career, and they would go from there. Uh, because you need to cater the offense around his skill set. And he didn't feel like they did that last year. And it's clear that Sean Payton has an idea in mind of what he wants to see from the Denver Broncos and from Russell Wilson this year. So a lot of people are upset. You know, Ryan Clark talked about this idea that, you know, if you're Sean Payton, you're a Super Bowl winning coach. You're one of the greatest coaches of all time. There's no point in even mentioning what happened last year. He said this on first take just because that's beneath your standard in the NFL. But I think for me, even with all that, I think Sean sat down in this interview and wanted to communicate something and make a point. He wanted to make a point that this year, everything's going to be different. He said that he expects them to be a playoff team. He expects the Denver Broncos to be a playoff team. He also mentioned uh, that he did not think that the situation the players were put in last year was for their best interest, even the off-the-field stuff like Russell Wilson having a team of people around him to help him in terms of his game day prep, in terms of what he does on a daily basis and helping him to navigate uh, the NFL circuit and all those other things. So there's a lot that goes into it for sure. So I think for me, I don't mind the comments from Coach Payton simply because this team was embarrassing last year. But if you're in Denver, the Denver Broncos have flat out been embarrassing after that 2016 season when they went, uh, I think it was nine and seven uh, their last winning season they had right after winning the Super Bowl when they had basically an even better defense than they did in the 2015 year. But again, was that their best quarterback season they've had since that point? With Trevor Simeon, go to your place. With Trevor Simeon going for 18 touchdowns and 10 interceptions, was that the best season that they could have hoped for. So, my bad, y'all. This dude is acting up. But I think for me is the Broncos have been an abject failure. They've had one of the worst offenses in the NFL since that 2015 season. Really, the 2014 season. Because the 2015 season, remember Peyton Manning only had nine touchdowns and 17 interceptions. So, they have been walking in mediocrity and bad offensive process for the last several seasons. So for them to be doing as bad as they've done and then for Sean Payton to come in here, dog, bro. For Sean Payton to come in here and to want to rebuild the system that they have here and do what needs to be done to put a new culture in place. It is what it is. And I think for me, accepting the responsibility what comes with that is perfectly fine. Now, some people might not like it. Some people might, might not love the fact that they're in a situation where they're trying to win. They're trying to rebuild and redo the culture. And then here we are. Sean Payton is obviously talking about Nathaniel Hackett. But, and Robert uh, Sala, you know, he mentioned this today. You know, it's crazy that they're talking about us and, you know, we don't play them till week five, but I really don't think people understand. Like, if you weren't in Denver last year, from the opening game of the year, opening game of the year, 
they were in a situation where they had to literally watch Nathaniel Hackett throw the end of a game away, terrible clock management, not giving Russell Wilson the ball, not taking risks, you know, at the end of the fourth down, fourth and short, all that other stuff. There was just so many things that happened that really, from the onset of the season, that let everybody know you would about to be in for a ride and it wasn't going to be a good ride. And then obviously... You know, you get to the end of the year, you get to the Christmas game versus the Rams, and they're getting blown out by Baker Mayfield. It was just horrific. Similar, I mean, the New York Giants game, what was that, 2018? The Chargers game where they got shut out. I mean, they've had some really ugly, bad moments, man. And even last year, they're down 27-0, to obviously just to the Kansas City Chiefs right before half, and then they go on a crazy scoring run. And maybe if Russell, you know, doesn't hurt his head that game, they win. But all this just kind of adds up to where we are now, to where the Broncos, they just need something different. They need an adult in the room. They need a leader in the room. They need someone to be able to set the tone, and that's what Sean is doing. So I appreciate it. I think that you got to call a spade a spade. I don't know what to tell you. That was one of the worst coaching jobs I've ever watched as somebody who's played football, who's a fan, and who covers the team. And I think for a lot of you all, that was one of the worst football seasons you've ever seen from a coach. And I think Sean Payton knows football way more than all of us. And he watched the film, saw the scripts, knew everything that went on inside and outside of those huddles. And he came away saying it's one of the worst coaching jobs I've ever seen. Mismanagement of personnel, all that stuff. So he said what he said. And, you know, people can feel how they want to feel about it. But, again, he said the expectation is they are they, – the expectation is playoffs. This team needs to get to the playoffs. They're going to have a top five defense again, maybe even higher than that. They're going to have – a uh, competent offensive coach, one of the best offensive minds ever. And they got a lot of weapons. They got a rebuilt off of offensive line with McGlinchey, Powers at the guard position, next to Bowles and Cushionberry. I mean, they got something special. Javante Williams looks like he's on track for week one. You obviously got uh, Samaji P. Rod coming over from the Bengals, really good player. Marvin Mims going through a hamstring injury right now on the first day of camp, but hopefully he'll be back by the end of this week, as Sean Payton said. Uh, but then on top of that, Jerry Judy, Cortland Sutton, Tim Patrick, and hopefully you still got KJ Hamler, you still got Kendall Hinton, you got Greg Dulcich. They have so many weapons, but can they put it all together? That's going to be the question. So shout out to Sean Payton. I appreciate the comments. Don't bother me one bit. Let me know what y'all think. Broncos country, what do you think in the comments section? Do you think Sean went too far? Would you rather him not say anything? Did you love what he said? Let me know, y'all. We got more Bronco video coming out. Bronco season is right around the corner. Training camp is here. We got preseason starting as well. We doing a deep dive into everything, man. We're going to get into it this year. Y'all know uh, the, the, the sport um, that lost everything off for me. So I'm, I'm excited about the NFL season. I want to see it all. Hey, Swipe a Gang, Mile High Sports. I'll see y'all soon.